option and offer him more than City, he wouldn't stay. Well, he probably would, but they're not doing that. And, you know, if you're offering him 800 grand a week, he will stay, but they're not doing that. So we have to be realistic. And the fact that he hasn't signed doesn't mean that he will sign. I think it's too late for him. Now you want a response from him this season. To S Sanchez, do you do the same thing for those or, or the players that you bring in? Because Lacazette then knock on the door and say, well... Or all the other players want to go up. So, Everything, you know, once yeah. you have a, once you have a philosophy of this is what we're going to do, you stick with it. But you can always get good players. But don't forget, Premier League salaries are higher than anywhere else. So, therefore, yes, you may not be able to get a Sanchez. But when they got him, if he was happy with the wages he got, and maybe you're going to get another player the next Sanchez. Uh, also, German links in this, Aka. Involves tonight, which will help them against a Cologne side that Everton did against Atalanta earlier. Yeah, it's a game. It's a, you know, it's the first game. Cologne will be glad to be back. They'll be playing with, with, with determination and desire. It's their first game back. It, I think it really depends on how, how Arsenal approach this game. They get started now in the company. Our match commentator in the Emirates, John Anderson. And Arsenal wearing their traditional red and white strip, attacking the goal to our right-hand side. Free kick. Cologne looked to put early pressure on. Rob Holding made the clearing header. And then El Neni back to hop for uh, Cologne. Was uh, still giving away early free kicks, just a tug there back on uh, the shirt of Leonardo Bittencourt, who's German, but uh, his father Franklin, Lee Lehman, and Bittencourt are standing over the ball. It looks like it's going to be a touch and a hit. It was struck. Cup winners got they reach the final. Ball forward towards El Nenny and a first touch for Timo Horn. Another one club man, he's up to nearly 200 appearances for FC Köln. By Arsenal, it's worked through to Walcott again. He's trying to get round Rausch and he's just pulled down the Russian in the box. He's serving player 11 years on the professional staff since joining from teenager. Said yesterday that. It's easier to achieve through the league. Or Spina all the way out under a little bit of pressure there. Here's Cordoba. He's going to go for goal. He's going to score sensationally. Oh, back with a magical goal. Ball kept in. Oh, Spina came out. But just look what Cordoba does here. That is magnificent vision. Brilliant execution. And a memorable goal for the Germans wow well Spain and you from the moment it had left they have the lead and in incredible style on top of the moment here Alexis Sanchez expected to be one of the main figures who's barely had a kick in the opening 11 minutes but uh, He'll play it forward here from this free kick. There's the header. And it's tipped over the bar. It was Giroud who looped. Giroud just level. Simon Zola. And now Bittencourt. He's going to go from distance, but worth watching again and again. Was the ball over the line there? I think maybe not. Well, Spina came out, it wasn't a great clearance, but just watch this from Cordoba, it's a fantastic strike. Clever step over by El Nenny, and then a lovely ball to Maitland-Niles. And... But Saka, and then behind him, was uh, initially, it was Monreal who got the touch. Forward again, there's no flag here, it's a real chance. And in the end, it just wouldn't drop quite for Zola. This was the moment when uh, Zola got between Fert Sacker and Holding. He was onside, as you could see. Holding did well in the end to recover. Zola just, uh, the ball wouldn't sit down for him. Holding forward. And Walcott again is offside. Hasn't scored in eight games, Theo Walcott. You can see there again, it was a correct decision by the... And Herger forward towards Cordoba. Holding trying to shadow him, Cordoba, who scored such a magnificent bet and core. Holding needs to get there and does. Suspicion of handball, they're not given. Walcott! And he screwed it wide. Or just uh, 
slithered forward by Holding. Kerlmer appealing for handball against Alex Iwobi, but he found Walcott not finish. Mention the fact that Walcott is due a goal. Much support. Tries to find uh, Walcott. The only option they've lost five of the last seven home games against them. But here's uh, Sanchez into. Bayern Munich, of course, thrashed Arsenal 5-1 in Bavaria last season in the group stage. Only back in the game. Good technique from Kolasinac. Goal this for Arsenal. inside goes across goes across and what a finish he digs it out look at the play somebody in sees nothing goes across and look at that he digs that out from nowhere surprises the goalkeeper lots of whip on that ball and who can question even question Sanchez's attitude what a goal that is that's what Manchester City wanted and didn't get, and what Arsenal are keeping. In the middle, and it's neither one thing or the other in the end from Sanchez. I fancy he was going for goal. He had Walcott as a possibility at times there. Yeah, he's good enough to find Walcott offside. What was the linesman thinking? That's a shot put through by Jack Wilshire. Yeah, time was up anyway. Anyone, and you think... That settles the destination of the points. Bellerin does great. He follows up for the rebound and he gets his reward. For now, I would say that's probably wrapped this game up. It's the first ever European goal for Hector Bellerin at the 16th attempt.